I knew that we had a team that was good enough to win the tournament. But it didn't come down to what our talent was. It came down to when the heat came on, we weren't able to find a way to win. You know, so training harder or being fitter, I don't think that would have made any difference that day. I probably was naive and thinking, you know, I can play well whenever it counts. And perhaps over my first few years, I'd been able to do that to some degree. But as a captain, I sort of had to admit that I, I didn't have the tools in the box when it came to handling pressure. And, you know, that's where it became a bit like, well, how am I going to get that? Or is it just the fact I haven't got it and that's it? We need to not just pay lip service to the mental side or just say because we're going to train harder, we're going to be better. We need to actually do some work on addressing the, the elephant in the room. The All Blacks in three in a row now have not been able to handle it. We are no good when it really all comes down to that one moment or that one day. OK, now we're going to find some people or put some time into not so much sweating, but actually sitting in and doing some work on the mental stuff. I felt like I almost had to start again in terms of the captaincy and go, well, so much to learn, you know, let's go and do that. Sometimes there are moments that are so undeniable that you can't move past them. Often that's adversity. And sometimes in sport, it hits you in the face. I first started working with Richie in around 2010. The particular state of mind he had at that, that stage was uh, particularly redemption. Uh, he didn't want to give up. At that stage, they're obviously thinking hard about the lessons from 2007. The basic explanation is that processes, catching a ball, kicking a ball, running, passing, things that are pretty much automatic, people try and over-control because their mind goes to the outcome. Scoreboards, clocks, time running down, things not going our way, and so there's a sense of loss of control. He actually explained to me, and this is where I really enjoyed what pressure is and how it affects your body from a biology point of view, what your brain does. And, and I, I just remember thinking, wow, this is, um, makes it real, you know? It's not as though we're trying to say that pressure's not there, we're not going to feel it. Everyone feels it, but how do you deal with it? What you've got to focus on is your capacity to control your mind in any given situation. If you're not in control of your mind, you're no good to us. We place great emphasis on clear thinking under pressure rather than just thinking positively. Uh, think about pilots. They don't prepare just for good flights. They prepare for the, the bad weather, the difficulties, mechanical and all those sort of situations. Uh, that's what we'd expect them to do. For sports teams, if you deal with those moments better than other people, then that's a huge advantage. 